Hi guys, today let's take a look at monopolies both in the long run and the short run. There should be a couple things that you notice about our, our curve for this firm outright. First off, the marginal cost curve still looks like the marginal cost curve has always looked. That cost because of diminishing marginal returns in the short run should always look the same or have the same basic shape. The next curve, the average total cost curve, is something that I always draw second. And keep in mind, again, that curve goes down gradually and then comes back up. That curve should also intersect the marginal cost curve at the average total cost curve's lowest point. Okay. We are not going to draw the average variable cost curve on this diagram. Uh, what we will do next, though, is the demand curve. And unlike perfectly competitive markets, monopolies are price setters. They are not price takers. Since monopolies are price setters, they can charge whatever price as a firm that they want in the marketplace, we see the law of demand have a very predictable downward sloping demand curve. So as the price goes down, more and more individuals will want this good, and you're going to see an increase in quantity of that good sold. So we see a very typical looking demand curve. And our marginal revenue curve now will be separate from the demand curve too. And we'll look at mathematically here in a bit why, but uh, what you would need to point out or, or notice from this scenario is that the marginal revenue curve would be two times the slope of the demand curve. Uh, now, unless you're graphing specific data, uh, just worry about making it steeper than, than the demand curve and you'll be fine. So, that's our quick and basic shapes of the, the different curves. Let's point out a, a couple things about efficiency in this marketplace. First off, uh, remember that demand is the same thing as average revenue. We'll get to that in a bit. But um, first off, the, the first thing that firms want to know is whether they can make profit or where they should profit, uh, have a profit maximizing output level. Uh, this firm sees profit maximization where MC equals MR, which is at this point between the blue and the purple lines on the graph. That's roughly at 250 units of output, uh, 245. At this level of output, the profit maximizing firm, we can calculate profits and losses by looking at, at that level of output, at that level of output, where does that level of output intersect both the average revenue and the average cost? It intersects the average revenue or the demand curve at a very high level very high price level, and the average total cost curve at a lower level. In other words, we're going to see that monopolies have the ability to make a lot of profit, economic profit. This is not just normal profit, this is uh, economic profit above and beyond the break-even point or covering the cost for your, your firm. So we see at the profit maximizing level, there's a lot of profit monopolies can make. Let's look at other levels of, of efficiency though. Uh, the next easiest one to find is productive efficiency or where this firm operates at its lowest overall average total cost. And we can see that productive efficiency should be where the average total cost curve intersects the marginal cost curve. And if we look for a, a quick value, that's approximately 370 units of output. So. 370 units of output is roughly the uh, productive efficiency, okay? whereas the profit maximizing level was 240, roughly, 245, I believe I said. Uh, other levels of efficiency to consider. Uh, wherever the demand curve intersects the supply curve is what we would call allocative efficiency, or the best use of all the resources in the marketplace. Allocative efficiency occurs for this graph at this point. And we can see allocative efficiency is roughly 400 uh, units of output. Okay. Uh, the last major uh, efficiency to consider, or at least the last um, major point to consider, we have allocative, productive, and profit maximization, is some firms like to operate at a revenue maximization level. And revenue maximization would occur where 
the firm is producing uh, a value of zero on the marginal revenue curve. At this point, this is roughly 325 units of output. With monopolies, we will always see a huge opportunity to make a lot of profit. And if firms are operating at the profit, maxima, profit maximizing level, but please also don't forget that firms could have other goals like revenue maximization or could seek to be productively or allocatively efficient, which would change the amount of output they make. And in every case, except for allocative efficiency, they would still make profit. Uh, allocative efficiency monopolies would make no profit because it's where the, uh, actually they probably in this case would still make a little bit of profit, but um, they make less and less, less profit as monopolies achieve these other, other goals. Thus, when you're one firm in the marketplace, monopolies are almost always focused on profit maximization. And we'll look at some of the implications of those as we go.